is this one? How can I become a great artist like you? And when did you start drawing your silly ideas? I've seen your drawings and they're so amazing. I especially like your BRB screen drawing. It's just so peak. Oh, thank you! Um... I don't know. I've always been... more of a shitpost artist than anything. I'm sure you can tell. <laughs> like, I like memes and I like drawing stupid things and that makes me happy and I think they're silly. I have pretty much always been drawing. I just doodle on the side and then sometimes I draw actual things, but then I even the mindset of going, I hate drawing. <laughs> Here's my greatest tip to you though. If you want to become an actual artist, like you want to draw real things, you're interested in drawing and not my silly little... You know, if you're drawing shit pose, you can just start wherever. It's about the feeling. Like, if I saw stick figures, but the content was really funny, then you've already succeeded. That's what a shit post is. So just pick up the pen and try to be funny on the internet. <laughs> but if you're looking to be an actual artiste, my greatest advice to you is you have to be hyper fixated. On a piece of media. Like, so hyper fixated on a piece of media that you want to objectify them on the daily. Trust me. I know many, many artists. I know many professional artists. <laughs> that is the one tip they'll give you is that they're like, oh, I just want to see my meow meow. That is the best, best advice I could possibly give you. And that's how you learn how to draw. Is that you have this one creature that you're so obsessed with. You're like, I need to be fed one way or another. And the only person that's gonna feed myself. And that that is how you get better at drawing. <laughs> Trust me. You know, go to a convention, talk to any artist and be like, you have a hyper fixation, what compels you to draw? And then sometimes they'll be very upfront with you and they'll be like, my main passion in life is seeing my favorite character naked. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how you learn anatomy. It's very true. I guarantee you. <laughs> that is the truth. And then there comes a point in time, this is me speaking from the POV that I know a lot of gone through the trials and tribulations. Is there like a point in time where drawing becomes really difficult that you're just crying when producing it? And you're like, this is, how does this work? I'm no longer happy. <laughs> Anatomy is hard, guys. Artists just want it to be over. They, they're just like, oh god, I, I don't know how this works. <laughs> You've cried over drawing before? No! <sighs> drawing. Me too, don't worry. <laughs> So, that is how you get into drawing. It's okay to have a hyperfixation. Your hyperfixation can fuel you into creating works of art. Unfortunately, this is an advice that I don't take either. Is, guys, in order to get better at drawing, you have to draw. <laughs> I hate it. It's like my least favorite fact in life is that if you want to get better at something, you have to do it. It sucks so bad. <laughs> I don't want to draw. I don't, I don't want to get better and do the thing. But unfortunately, it's true. So that's why if you have a hyperfixation, at least it makes the process a little funner. You know? You, you know what I mean? Yeah. So keep going. I believe in you. 